DC's Emancipation Day concert kicks off tomorrow at 3, but today we've got an early preview for you. Michael Quander is outside in front of our WUSA 9 circle with one of the performers. Mike. Look, I got to tell you, I am out here with this guy. He is a beast on the harmonica. This is Frederick Yone. Thank you for being here for, with us, man. I appreciate you. Thank you for having us. I'm really happy to be here. You no, know, you are so well known. Let me tell you, he has played with so many people. I mean, can we just name a couple of them really quickly? Please, I mean, please. Uh, from Stevie Wonder to Prince, Erica Badu, and uh, I currently work with Dave Chappelle as well. DC what? native. <laughs> but, I mean, did he just say Prince, y'all? I mean, like, seriously, like, so talk to me. How did you get uh, start with your harmonica? Well, I got lucky. I wanted to be like, like Chris Bynum over there. I wanted to be a drummer. <laughs> and uh, I got fired from all my gigs because I was trying to take the lead as a drummer. And they were like, no, you stay in the back. So I picked this instrument out of frustration. And I grew up with asthma as well. So he helped me with my, uh, my evolution. And uh, he changed my life. And here I am today. An instrument you picked out of frustration. And now you mean, you're doing your thing on it. I that's love right, it. That's right. You play any other instruments at all? No. I'm, uh, I'm dangerous enough. I dabble at things. But this is my, my weapon of choice. I mean, a lot of people know you because of your experience with Prince. I mean, you were known as like Princess Beast on the harmonica. I mean, yeah, I think the, the uh, Rolling Stone called me the uh, Princess Killer harmonica player. Killer, like that. yeah. I'll take it. Take it. Just take, take it. Yeah. <laughs> How did you get involved with Prince? Uh, Dave Chappelle actually introduced me to Prince in uh, at the Grammys in 2006. We uh, we went to an after party, and then uh, I think Prince saw me perform with Stevie Wonder at Madison Square Garden in 2007. And we reconnected a couple of years later, and then um, he hired me to uh, literally substitute his home section for a couple of years. <laughs> well, you mentioned Dave Chappelle. I mean, you know, you you're, you live you live in D.C., so I you do. know we love us some Dave Chappelle. I'm gonna tell you that right now. How Who did doesn't? you? How did you all get involved with each other? Uh, you know, I was at the right place at the right time. Uh, he's uh, he's a, a huge music lover. As a matter of fact, we have a project together with uh, with Dave. It's called Dave Chappelle's Juke Joint with Frederick Kearney and the band with no name and uh, those those uh, spontaneous bond parties. Uh, that we put that at the, la at the last minute, and uh, yeah, we have a lot of fun. All right, awesome. Well, like, I know you're going to be at the Emancipation Day Parade, but in the concert, but I want to get a little sample of what you're going to be giving us Sure, tomorrow. but I want, to, I want to thank Angie Gates and, and Mayor, uh, Mayor Muriel Brower for, for having us and, and putting this, uh, this event together. We are really, really honored, and uh, I hope you like this, uh, this next selection. Got it. You got it, man. Thank you. Rocking here, rocking you right into the weekend. It's so talented. We want to thank the DC Office of Cable, Television, Film, Music, and Entertainment for sponsoring today's DMV soundtrack. And all day, we'll have local artists performing live in our WUSA 9 circle to preview tomorrow's DC Emancipation Day celebration at Freedom Plaza. The parade starts at 2 p.m., there's a free concert at 3, fireworks at 8.30. And you know what else? If you go there, you'll see two of our WUSA 9 family members as the MCs, sports director Darren Haynes and Great Day Washington host Marquette Shepard. So we got the full lineup at DCEmancipationDay.com. No pressure. We just need a dry at uh, 2 and uh, 3 and uh, 8.30 and uh, after that, too. Well, I think it'll be dry for that parade. I think it'll be even dry for the uh, Cherry Blossom Festival.